What's up everybody, welcome back to my channel. Uh, it's early today, I barely got up and shit. I don't know if you could hear people out there mowing the lawn and all that stuff. Hopefully that doesn't fuck with the audio on my video. Today I'm gonna go change the oil on my car and shit. I bought this, uh, this little thing right here from a Holtz industry. It's a full extractor and it's meant to like take the oil out in your car and all this and that. I already did it one time. I did a bit of like last year, I believe, of me changing my own car oil. But you know, it's about that time where I need to change it again. You saw my cats right here. You guys hungry? Huh? You guys hungry? <laughs> I got hella cats, bro. Coco, you hungry, Coco? All right, let me feed you guys. Come here, guys. This one right here, that's Billy. That's Draco right here. And that's Stella. Hold on, Coco. Everybody got food, right? Give me a little more food. Yeah, I think I'm going to go back some more food. See how your water look? Oh, I, need, I need some more water. That's the water. Let me see you guys move, watch out. There you go, Draco. Though the cats, they can eat any type of dry food, but for Coco, they told us that we can only feed him this kind. They're telling me from him right here, my little baby Coco, we can only feed him this one right here, which is a urinary so. It's like when cats that get sick, you know, like when they can't pee and like stuff like that. <laughs> Coco loves his food so much, he bit a hole to it. He was trying to get to it one day we wasn't here. Now I already finished feeding my cats. Now the next thing I gotta do. Now the next thing I gotta do is uh, I gotta go to a uh, what's it called? I gotta go to AutoZone or Riley's so I can buy me a uh, two uh, those gallon tanks of oil because I'm gonna take all the oil out of my car and I'm gonna put some fresh oil in that shit. So, uh, but I'm gonna keep recording once I get to the store. One hour later. Hi guys, so I just made it back from the store. Um, I was finna record in the store, but I ran into somebody who I knew, you know, from back in the day. So I kind of, you know, started talking to him and I kind of forgot about, you know, recording the little, kind of forgot about recording the little thing. So now I'm finna take this little thing outside so we can do the little oil change. Open this shit up. I think I remember how to use it. Damn, um, God damn, I don't really remember. I don't know if this is how you do it or not, but this is how I have it set up. I got the little thing right there all the way in there. Then I got the little thing in the middle and I put the little one in here. And this little one is the one I'm gonna use to like stick it in there so I can put the oil out of there. Let me go put this on. Should be good right there. Put that and you should stick that shit all the way in there. Till you hit the bottom. All right, and then you should lift it up a little bit. Put that little thing up. You put this little thing up. Sure, there it goes right there. I don't know if y'all can hear it or not, but it's filling up. Oh, that shit kind of hot, no lie. One thing you do gotta do though is you gotta warm up your car and shit. You at least should drive it for like 20 minutes before you want to take it out like that. This is the little oils I'm gonna use to refill it. And uh, I don't need to replace the, the filter. I already replaced the filter, like I think like last year. You should replace the filter every like two years. In the meantime, you can just chill. Don't want to hear that gangster 
You can just chill for the minute, uh, for the moment. Uh, it looked like it's gonna rain, so hopefully this shit finishes fast before the rain comes here, cause I do not want to work in the rain, and I do not want to get no water inside the oil tank, bro. That'd be the worst thing you could ever do. So yeah, hopefully it don't rain anytime soon. Oh, but can you record my nails? Off? I won't have to come up. Alright, right, so once you finish, it should look like something like that. You said some oil coming out, huh? You see if you guys see this shit got filled up like all the way up here. It's like filled up like all the way up to here and shit. But once it runs out of gas, it should look like something like this. Oh shit the fuck up. Don't cuss my gas. I'm just family friendly. Take this little thing out. Put it right here. Hey, Chuck, get your little phone and put it right there. You open the little new, the little new oil thing right here. Brand new. Make sure you put it in slowly so it won't overfill. But basically, you can just drop a whole full one without really checking on it. Now, when you drop the other one, that's when you actually got to check. So that's when it starts getting full. Make sure every little drop gets in there. All right, before we, do a, before we put the second gallon in, that's when you're going to use your little dipstick right here to check where the oil at. Because at this point, this is when it's like halfway full, something like that. It's going to start getting full. It's like barely touching the tip right there, so I only need like a little bit. I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but it's like up to like right there. I'm still gonna put a little bit more and we should be done. Should have just bought a little, big one and a little one. You guys can see on that, but I got it like right there where you should be on the little arrow. Got us tight, bro. Oh, yeah. Make sure that looked in tight right there. Like any little oil that dropped on your shit. Oh, I could dump the oil in here. Oh, yeah, if I could probably do that. Let me see. If I could. All right, once you finish up, this is where you put your dirty oil inside. I'm gonna go throw those away. Just clean everything up. Shit inside. Once you already put all your oil on, I'm gonna show you how, how to take this little uh, warning thing right here. The little shit right here. I'm gonna show you how to take that shit out. Bro. You put your key in there. Let the steering wheel drop. You click it one time. And then you finna press this button and then you finna press this one, the okay button at the same time. All right, after that, this little menu finna pop up and you finna scroll down and you finna click this one right here. Then you finna go to full service and then you finna scroll down and you finna confirm the full service. The service carry out, yes. It cannot be undone, confirm. The full service carry out and you should be done. Press okay, go back back take the key out uh -huh. 
click all the way through. That's one of my warnings. And there you go. The other warning don't even pop up no more. Let's see, go to messages. And yep, you should be good. This is gonna be the end of my video right here. Um, it was a pretty, it was a pretty simple video and shit. It's still kind of early. I don't know if uh, me and Lil Seabird are gonna go do something later on or not. But right now, I'm here chilling with my cats. What's up, Coco? Come here, Coco. Show sure, Remy. Where are Remy? Draco. What's up, Draco? This is the fat one right here. <laughs> Draco's the fat one. He loves to eat. So yeah, guys, it's gonna be the end of my video. Uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And see you guys next time.